Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner and welcome to Real Magic Review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Trojan deck by Joshua J. Before I review the Trojan deck, can you please like and subscribe, check out Card Magic Course, make sure you hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe bit so you get notifications of when I go live. Uh, and as I said, cardmagiccourse.com, that's, oh, I can't talk today, dot com, <laughs> that's, uh, uh, that's the name of it, go and have a look at that, type that in or hit the link below, there'll be one of them and you can look at my brilliant course, there isn't really a course anymore, it's more of a resource, there is so much on it. Uh, to call it a course, it isn't something going to work through from beginning to end. It's going to be something that hopefully um, you'll be going in, dipping in and out of for years to come. So, cardmagiccourse.com, have a look at that. Right. This is a big release, isn't it? The, the, I think it's a big deal when Joshua J brings something out. His last release was Balance. Uh, and this has similarities. Weirdly enough, it does. It doesn't have similarities. Like you're going to say it's a card trick, not in the in the trick. But there were, there's something about it that kind of well, I'll, I'll discuss that in a minute. But um, the good news is, with this, straight off the bat, I will tell you that what you see in the trailer, in that seven-minute trailer, that whole routine with the lovely presentation and the story and the cameras on everything, there is nothing hidden there. And that's really important with this. There's nothing you're going to get when you look at the instructions that's going to be a nasty surprise or anything like that. And I'm saying that because... The last big release was Christian Grace's Switch 1, which I really, really liked, but some people had issues with the fact that they were saying, oh, the trailer wasn't honest. I really thought it was. I, I didn't, didn't have a big issue with it at all. And I'm not saying you shouldn't have, but I couldn't see the big problem. I do understand the problem of people saying, oh, well, it's only a move and you get this different thing. And they were a little bit confused about that. I get that. This is, I think, this may be even a response to that, of maybe decision to go, and I don't know, maybe decision to go, right, we're just going to, there's nothing that people, we're going to show every moment of this, even to the point where, you know, now I know how it's done. I can watch it and go, I can see each moment of, of that happening. Really important. So it's a really honest release, this. It's also a very good trick. And if you're a performer, you will know how good and strong these type of tricks play. Whether you're doing a kind of the trick in the glass, where the, the cards match, any matching of the cards trick, especially when the, the spectator can deal their cards out from the top of the deck, a few of the cards off the top at the beginning, is really good. And this had, it has this added kicker, which some may say isn't needed. And as he says on the download, no, it's not needed. And you can choose to do it or not. But there's a really nice kind of finish where you have this extra card that they've chosen at the beginning that you, they don't know what it is, you don't know what it is, a red and black card, and it's, it's in the, each pocket, and, you, and they match it as well, which I think is a really nice thing. So we have a really solid piece of magic, a piece of magic that is without doubt going to play well, and we know that because he's been doing this in Six Impossible Things, I think he did in his show, and if, you know, if he's been performing this in his show, his stage show, we know it's got legs and we know that it's, it's been worked in. He also says in the download that it has been worked in. He has subtleties, you know, uh, to learn the trick itself. Well, I was just about, about to say it's simple, but I will come back to that in a minute as well. There are subtleties in this, which he goes in, which he's kind of ironed out over the years. And it's really nice when you know there's a trick that someone's really worked on and then they give you the final product. And he's obviously, you know, he's not going to give this away when he starts running it because he doesn't want people doing it in their show, clearly enough. And he hasn't said that, but that's obvious. But the fact he's releasing it now, he's kind of, he's had his time with it, he's releasing it to the community, and again, a real honesty to that, and we know it's a good trick, and everything you see in the trailer is exactly what you get. So I can't really, I, I can say I like the trick, but I can't review the trick, you have to review that, and do you like that trick? If you do, you're going to be able to do it with this. Anything else? It's, he says it's the best trick he's released. I, I mean, that's very subjective, isn't it? I, I actually really, really liked Balance. People had a problem with balance because they got it and they said, well, I've never really done it. I've never had a chance to do it. But again, you saw that, that routine and it was a very honest thing as well. You got exactly what the routine. I love it. I think it's really unusual. It's really weird, but it's a really not for any, every situation. And it took a boldness. It took a kind of, it was easy, but it took a performance. And that's where I think this is similar to balance. This is an easy magic trick to do, but it's almost deceptively easy. It's, 
it's going to take work, but you, there's no, like he says, there are no moves really. Now, I will argue that it would be really handy if you have a full shuffle and a full shu cut. He gives you two of them on the download, very good ones, and you're going to be able to find those everywhere. There's loads of them. It doesn't matter what ones you do. The ones he does in the trailer, uh, incidentally, he does one of the shuffle, full shuffle that he shows, but he doesn't do the full cut that he teaches, but that's fine. It's a really simple thing. There's a good car magic course online. You'd be able to find a load of that stuff on many, many of those. Um, I can't remember what it's called. It's called. Yeah, anyway. Um, and so it's, it's easy to do. But other than those moves, no, there's, there's no moves. But you will have to be confident with a deck of cards. I think you have to rehearse this. You have to know. It's, it, it reminded me, again, like balance, you have to rehearse it. You know exactly what you've got to do. When you're talking through it, you can do it along with it and you can do it straight away. But to really perform it and feel confident with it and not rush through it and really have faith in the fact that it's once you know what you when you know what how a trick's done it's easy to lose faith in it isn't it because you go oh they're going to see that and i think i had that with balance and to just go for it and take that leap of faith that's where i think i had similarities and it's not a trick for beginners so when it's no moves it's easy to go well anybody could do it i think you have to really have that confidence with a deck of cards have that faith that you can do it and that only comes through practice but I do think that nearly everybody could do that if you're a card worker and there's also a leap of faith and a confidence to this because of the method obviously I'm not going to talk about the method but you have to the first there's going to be some people if especially those that haven't performed on stage a lot that will think am I going to get away with it there's a, there's a couple of moments that you just have to be bold you just have to Put your big trousers on and go, right, let's go for it. <laughs> I don't even know. Is that? A, that's not even a saying, is it? But I put, put my big trousers on when I did the cups and balls the first time, right? There's a moment where you have to just go, don't think about it, just do it. It's going to be fine. But there are, I think, two moments in this where you're going to be going, am I going to get away? And you are. And, and, and there is a boldness to this. And that's why I really like this. I love that sort of thing. I love that kind of sneakiness. But with that, there's a really good method. And it's a... It's really clever. There's quite a lot going on and there's quite a lot of setup. I got a bit confused in the setup. I had to kind of go back and that's fine. You know, you go back and you're going to be sitting there, I think, for a while. And I would sit there, make sure you get the setup right. It's easy. Then they do it all for you pretty much. You've just got to put a few things together that have been half put together for you. And that's, that's fine. Uh, the gimmick and all, all this kind of thing. Um, but I did get a bit confused and I had to sort of go back. But like it's one trick, you you know to go the the I think the it runs about an hour the download and you know to go back the first half of that and just go for it just make sure you can and I would sit with this for a long time I haven't performed it yet uh, I I would very and this is a big thing for me I would have no doubt that I would take this trick put it in the show put it in my one man show and be really pleased with it I won't be performing this walking around doing gigs and stuff it's just you, you know you want to be laying stuff out you want. You want a script with this. And I say about a lot of tricks, they don't need scripts. The magic speaks for itself. And in this, you could say the magic does speak for itself because it's so strong. You know, that thing of them turning the cards over is, is really strong in, in the end bit. But because of the nature of the trick, I think it really does need a script because a script, when you say certain things, you do certain things. And, and it's, I think it does need a script. It doesn't necessarily need a story but I think it needs a script. And I really w do worry if people take this story from Josh. And I know most people won't, but you know, it's a very personal story. It's about his parents, it's really lovely. And it, it won't be a hard thing to write a script for this at all, I don't think, but I think it needs rehearsal. It's not a trick, you learn the moves, go out and do. You could, by the way, and it would be good, but if you really want to get the maximum out of it, I would learn it with the script and, and write your own script and, and have it as a show. It's a performance piece, and therefore I would say it's not as versatile as something like the Prism deck, which I also really love, which you can walk around, do loads of, loads of times, it's just a deck of cards. You want, I think this deserves the space and the time. But it's not a perfect trick. You know, it isn't the most versatile thing in the world. Yes, you can do this with multiple selections and things like that, and he gives you another couple of ways you could use this. And in that way, it is versatile. It's not just for this trick, but I think it does need that, that time and space and platform, whatever you do it with. Uh, and you, you're going to want to be careful when you transport it he also talks about that as well but again you're not going to just chuck it in with your stuff it's something that you're going to want to look after and at one point you may want to uh, replace something and I think that that's fine and you could even make it yourself but I 
I, I, I presume at one point there's going to be refills available. You're not going to be buying them every day, and it's not one of those things where it, I think it, it, that's fine. There's not, got no problem with this. Uh, it has got quite a high price tag. I presume that's because it's a it's a really special thing for Josh. It, there, like I said, there is quite a lot you get with it. The Card Shark cards, you get a few things going on there as well, and they're really good quality. But you're not going to have to replace any of that stuff. You know, you're not destroying cards or anything like that. It's very repeatable, and and there is a fairly easy reset. You're going to be able to kind of go straight away. But again, I probably would we'd only use this in parlor or a show. Um, but some of you may 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 differ. So in summary. It's a, it's a really strong trick. It's beautifully presented. Um, you know, it, uh, and I think I like that. You know, like I said, I've, you know, we've talked about this a lot, but it's, it's really beautifully presented. It's clearly a big deal for Josh, Joshua J, and it's a really good trick. It's not perfect. It's not going to be for everybody. And some of you are really going to, as I said, have to put your big trousers on and, uh, and go for it. And, and I mentioned the cups and balls earlier. It is that thing of when you first do your final loads with the cups and balls, uh, you go, am I going to get, it's that sort of thing. Or when you first do your sort of peak in the center tower, where you first do that thing, that those kind of bold tricks at once you've done them two or three times, you go, what was I worried about? That was easy. It's the same sort of thing. You're going to have some trepidation when you first do it, but I think you're going to be totally fine. And we know you are because he's done it loads of times. And if, and that, I mean, he's a very skilled magician, but the, what, the reason he gets away with the bits he gets away with isn't because of the skill it's because of the psychology of the trick and how it works so we know it works so um i would say when you get it a tip do it as soon as you can i don't mean rush to when you've rehearsed it do it as soon as you can if i can imagine like balance just could be something that you after time you get more worried about doing i'm not discrediting it but i would get it out as soon as possible <laughs> i came out wrong and um <laughs> don't do that and uh this could go south and uh, get the trick out as soon as possible. Go and perform it and let me know how it goes. I'd love to, to hear your comments. So do put your comments below. I will be talking about this on next week's live session. So, uh, you know, every single comment I read and every single comment I will try to cover in the, in the session and answer your questions because I'm sure I've missed something. Angles, it's fine, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's, really, it's a really good trick and it's a, it's a worthy release from Vanishing. Uh, and thank you to them for sending it to me. And... Uh, and thank you for watching. So have a good one. Please check out cardmagiccourse.com as a little thank you for watching this and uh, get cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull, C-U-L-L. Um, you will get your free spread cull download course. So there you go, got it out in the end. Have a good one. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye.